Hey everyone, thanks for joining. Off a pretty amazing press release, if you ask me, but uh, we're gonna ask David, obviously go through it, um, get his insight, get some explanations, pull a few questions too, so we'll squeeze those in the end. But first things first, David, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks Jason, how about you? Yeah, good, good. Letting people know we are recording this on the 27th. Uh, you know, I, I saw some people comment thinking we do all these things, you know, weeks in advance. Um, you can tell I've got a little pimple growing here. You know, things are things are different than the last time, even though the, the suit might be the same. Uh, but... and, and I have COVID hair. My hair is growing. So, you know, <laughs> you can tell I haven't had a haircut since I don't know when. There you go. There you go. So just let so, by the way, know. just to be clear, 27th of January. Yes, yes, 27th of January, of course. <laughs> I'm going to let you intro it. I think you should take the th thunder, so go for it. Um, we'll go through sure. uh, some of the questions people will obviously already asked. Okay, great. So first of all, Jason, on that on that point, even just uh, the date, uh, you know, thanks to the person who sent the note about that, we are listening and we really do appreciate people sending us uh, your questions uh, and your comments and feedback. We're trying to listen and learn from all of that and, and improve on everything we do. So thanks to everybody for, for all that. Um, yeah, so we're pretty excited about uh, the news that we released today uh, on a couple of fronts. Uh, I guess the fact that we were able to generate an immune response early on uh, in the USAMRID study is, uh, is pretty exciting. So the study's going uh, as planned. Um, some of you may know that that's not always the way things play out. Um, and we've seen larger companies, much larger companies fail uh, along the way. So we don't take success as uh, for granted and even something as simple as that the animals are doing okay. Um, you know, I like to hear about that. I check in on the lab and I wanna know that everything's going well. And I'm happy that we can uh, share that with everybody. Um, we try to do the best we can in terms of uh, sharing information broadly. So we did complete the vaccination process, and that's also uh, something that we're excited about. And after completing the, the three vaccines in the animals, uh, we were able to see this antigen-specific T-cell response. It is uh, not uncommon that you see it in, in several animals, but not all. It's an early step. You know, we'll see improvements from here, we expect, or we hope. Uh, but uh, seeing any response, that's what we're looking for. So I've seen a bunch of comments and questions, and I've seen some people give that uh, answer as well. And, and thank you for that, because I do think that the key thing that I take away from this is that we do see that immune response. If we saw nothing, we probably would be okay with that because we wait for the next checkpoint. But, uh, but seeing it gives us a lot, of, a lot more confidence that uh, what we're seeing works. And also that the response is specific to our signal peptides. So that's, a, that's an important point. So that was the one part of the news. Um, and maybe um, even more exciting than that uh, was that we, in our very, very, very preliminary studies, uh, we were able to generate a response uh, with an oral delivery. Uh, <laughs> now, um, again, for people who don't know, that is absolutely not something to take for granted on the one hand. And on the other hand, it's a very early study. It's one study. We'll have to repeat. We'll have to tweak it on the margins. We'll look at different issues like dosing. There's a lot of stuff we can do. But if you think about what's happening in the world and where the uh, need is, having something that can be delivered orally uh, can be extremely meaningful to a lot of people in the world where they don't have access to the kinds of distribution uh, networks and facilities that would be required for the other technologies, these mRNA technologies that are out there where you need minus 70, minus 20, and so on. Again, this is very early. We don't know what the supply conditions would be. We're very far from that still. But if this works, again, if we're able to prove through repetition that we can generate the immune response, um, then this applies for our entire portfolio, both in terms of what we have, but also in terms of what we might develop. And we'd start looking at uh, the oral delivery as a mechanism across the board for signal peptides. So yeah. very, we're really excited about that, Jason. Yeah, I know, uh, you know, when we chatted, uh, you know, it seems like a lot of people read, you know, the first three paragraphs and, and forgot to read the the one about obviously, you know, kind of your preliminary oral kind of study and the the success you guys had there. I mean, amazing. You know, we we've talked. Uh, you know, you weren't extremely confident in previous videos, expecting to see something where you're like, okay, like 
yeah, we we've see, we see something, so we're moving forward, and that's a that's fantastic, a pretty amazing. Um, you know, I hope people really realize the significance of that paragraph. Um, here, just to go through the press release, I'm curious. I uh, saw people ask questions about, okay, now now what are the next steps? You know, for people that aren't, uh, you know, a, a pharma, a, you know, pharma friendly or biotech friendly, do you want to walk through? Okay, cool. You know, the mice received the vaccinations. Now what? Um, so on the USAMRIT study, yeah. the uh, the next steps in an experiment like that are after they've been vaccinated, we wait a period of time, uh, and then uh, we call it a challenge experiment. Then they're exposed or challenged with the virus, and then we wait to see how they respond and hope that the ones that received our vaccines uh, do better than the ones that did not. So it's a fairly uh, straightforward uh, process at this point. Uh, we just wait for that full immune response to kick in. We give enough time for their immune systems to respond robustly and then uh, exposed to COVID. And <clears throat> COVID uh, is, is a pretty uh, strong disease. And so uh, the, the results probably will follow in that spirit. They'll look that way. Got it. Cool. No, and no, I know you guys announced that you guys will, you know, expect to provide further updates in the first half of February. Um, so yeah. awesome. Just kind of getting that out there for, for people that might only be watching the video. Um, so cool. Now talk to me uh, and for the people are asking, okay, well, what's next from the oral side? Um, do you have anything you want to say? What What is the next process? So that's definitely something that we're thinking about now, but the general direction is to figure out how to reproduce the results um, and do it robustly. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this was a very, very preliminary experiment uh, because it, it's just so uh, um, unclear that one can generate an immune response from an oral delivery. So the fact that we saw it is great, and now we'll look to uh, validate that result uh, more broadly. Uh, we can do that in a variety of ways. We may look at different doses or different regimens. There are lots of different ways. We are now regrouping to see exactly how to proceed with that, and we'll make those decisions. And then uh, when things are finalized, we'll make announcements about what we plan to do. Awesome. No, cool. I think that's a, a great update. Again, uh, amazing. Congratulations, uh, you know, seeing that and announcing Thanks. that in your press release. Um, one thing I, I do want to mention, I see some people talk about, you know, wording, talk about press releases. Uh, I mm. want to <laughs> say, um, you know, the press releases and, you know, David, you can confirm and even add on top, the press releases have to go through, you know, IROC, so go through regulators, go through legal counsel, um, and then, of course, they go public. Uh, David, is anything you want to address there? I know sometimes uh you know people ask questions but you know we are put in a very uh tight i guess framework that we have to follow um anything you want yeah. to mention on that yeah look it's it's this is what uh is involved in being a publicly traded company um and we appreciate the rigor of the regulatory environment uh by the way we approach all of the aspects of our business in a similar way with very high standards so we're doing this on the science and we'll do it on legal and regulatory um, in, in, in all of its aspects. So, um, you know, we, we review and we formulate our, our press releases in a way that we feel reflects uh, in a precise and accurate way what we think we're seeing, for instance, on the science side. So we don't ever want to overstay what we're seeing. Uh, we don't want to understate it either, but we are very careful and conservative and respectful of this, uh, of the rigorous uh, regulatory environment, but also what we owe shareholders. We owe transparency, which means not necessarily saying everything. It just means being clear about what we think we've seen or what we know, um, and also clear about what we don't know. We're not trying to, uh, you know, convince anybody of something that's not, that we're not seeing. And hence our caution on what we see in the oral experiment, what we see, it's very preliminary and very encouraging, but preliminary. Yeah, We want to make no, sure we're careful and balanced. Awesome, awesome. No, I, I think that's a, a great answer. And we will get into warrants and some other stuff here quickly. I just want to, if do you want to sum up the, the rest? Uh, curious, uh, of course, saw some questions of people, you know, maybe that aren't understanding how significant of news this is. Um, do you want to kind of let people know from your feeling, obviously, as the expert, as a CEO, um, you know, how strong of a news release this was? And, um, you know, obviously, we keep talking about the oral experiments. Was that a big highlight of this news? 
Um, yeah, I think the, the USAMRID being on track is really important because uh, that experiment matters a lot. And if we can prevent uh, those animals from getting COVID, from getting sick, that's very significant and a really important proof of concept for us. Um, and same thing on the oral. I mean, achieving just a very small uh, result like this is very important because it would have been as easy to achieve the opposite. We would have still considered what to do next if we had seen nothing. We would have looked for other ways to generate the immune response. But the fact that we could see it from this very simple and crude way means that we can now advance uh, into other ideas. So I think those are the two good things. But, uh, you know, you said we're going to get into warrants. I mean, I'm also quite thrilled that we've got money in the bank. Yeah. Uh, as we said, you know, about three million in cash. Uh, and cash equivalents. So that's great for us uh, and gives us lots of freedom to operate. Um, and, and we're happy to be in that position. And we're very happy that we could deliver value to those investors who, uh, when they invested, got those warrants. And I'm, I'm thrilled that we could generate the value for them as well. Yeah, no, awesome. I do want to say mar markets held up uh, pretty well for, uh, you know, tw 20 million shares. So it's fantastic. Um, and that's mm -hmm. great that the company, of course, uh, is able to put money in the bank. So uh, amazing. You know, I, I know this is a touchy subject. I want to just mention, of course, we're seeing questions um, about this uh, kind of lawsuit. Um, anything you want to say? And I know it's hard to say stuff. So I, I just want to let people know that are watching. Um, you know, hopefully David just addressing it, um, you know, gives a little bit of confidence, but David, anything you want to say? Um, yeah, so this was an update on something that we had press released earlier that we were in mediation. Uh, from mediation, it became uh, what we released. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we will play, we'll let this play out as it does in court or, or otherwise. Um, and we will uh, as we said in the press release, we will defend the company. We believe uh, that the company did not do anything wrong, as we said in the press release, and we will defend uh, very vigorously uh, against any claims. Awesome. Cool. Well, that's pretty much uh, all that I had. Is there anything you wanted to say, um, you know, again, about the press release or in general about the current climate uh, for vaccinations? Uh, anything you wanted to touch on before we close things off? Um, I think I would just add, you know, we see uh, vaccination progressing. So, um, you know, I think that's a, you know, a, a both an opportunity and a challenge for us. We're obviously not uh, the first one to the market. And having said that, I think we have uh, still a great opportunity to fill some unmet needs out there in this space, but also in other infectious disease areas. And the oral is an example of how we can distinguish ourselves. Uh, there are very few companies out there looking at oral vaccination. Um, and I think you can count them on one hand, and that would be a significant differentiator if, if we are able to achieve uh, the results we'd like to achieve. Um, and we continue to explore all different kinds of areas to make sure that we remain re relevant, not for today, but for, you know, these vaccines and drugs take many, many months and years to get to market. So by the time we're able to actually have impact on patients, we need to be able to see the relevance then and not just today. So we're working hard to make sure that we return uh, that value, uh, obviously first and foremost to patients, but by doing that for patients uh, to our shareholders whom we appreciate very much. And the other thing I'll just add, Jason, is um, I love the questions, so keep them coming and uh, we're happy to have the interaction. These videos, if they're helpful, great. If you have ideas about other things, do let us know. We're, we're making a big effort here to uh, do a better job of engaging. So thanks to everybody for staying with us, and we appreciate everyone's time. Awesome. Well, David, congratulations on a you know outstanding press release again, uh, fantastic. And you you already took uh, you already took the words out of my mouth. Uh, if anyone watching uh, has any questions, uh, you know, feel free to to drop them below. Uh, of course, we read the Telegram, we read some of the other uh, some of the other channels as well, and we'd love to kind of push them into a future you know Q and A video. But David, thanks so much for joining. I think this was a great update. Great, thanks a lot, Jason, and thanks everybody. Be healthy.